Hello, my favorite English language learners. It is your favorite English teacher here, Amy Joy. Recently, I posted a video to my Instagram account that went completely viral. This video has almost 900,000 views. And if you're not following me on Instagram, you can follow me here and at the link below. But this video was about how to pronounce five states that are typically difficult for English language learners to pronounce. And once I posted it, I got lots of requests to pronounce the names of many different states. So in this video, I am going to teach you how to pronounce all 50 states in the US like a native English speaker. I am going to go through these alphabetically or from A to Z, so feel free to skip to the state that you want to learn how to pronounce. But if you want to be able to say all 50 states like a native English speaker, or you want to find out why my video went so viral, stick with me and let's get started. Number one, Alabama, Alabama. This word has four A's, but they make two different sounds, Alabama. The first and the third A make an A ah sound, and the second and the fourth A make a schwa or an A uh sound, Alabama. Two, Alaska. Again, we have a lot of A's. The first and the third A are a schwa sound, and the middle A is an A ah sound. And the stress is on the second syllable, Alaska, Alaska, Alaska. Three, Arizona, Arizona. This word has a Spanish origin, but we do not pronounce it like Spanish speakers would. So we start off with air, 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 and then the I is more of a schwa, Arizona, Arizona, Arizona. This word is four syllables and we put stress on the first and the third syllable, Arizona, Arizona. Four, Arkansas. Stress on the first syllable and the second A reduces to a schwa. This word is spelled super weird because there is an S on the end that we simply do not pronounce. But as you probably know, English loves silent letters and this is one of them. So we pronounce it Arkansas, Arkansas, Arkansas. Five, California, California. This is four syllables and we put the stress on the first and the third syllable. California, California, California. And that is where I'm from. Number six, Colorado, Colorado. Now this is the state that made my Instagram video go so viral. Many people were upset with me because of my pronunciation of this state, Colorado. And this is because in Spanish, the word Colorado means red or rust colored, and it is its own word in Spanish. And the state was named after this word. But of course, over time, English speakers added their own pronunciation to it, and now it sounds completely different from the original Spanish pronunciation. So a lot of Spanish speakers online were upset with me because I was not using the Spanish pronunciation, but rather the American English pronunciation. Now, if you speak Spanish and you want to use your Spanish pronunciation for this word, that is completely fine and up to you. But if you want to reduce your accent or sound more like a native English speaker, then we say, Colorado, Colorado. Now this word has a lot of vowels and they all sound a little bit different. So the first O is very open, ha. The second O reduces to a schwa, la. The A is the same as the first O, it's open, ah. And the last O is an O sound, O. Colorado, Colorado. Number seven, Connecticut, Connecticut. Connecticut. This word is spelled pretty differently from the way it's pronounced. Growing up, I had to remember that it was spelled connect, I, cut, but that it was pronounced without the C, and then the first T becomes a D sound or like a tap. Connecticut, Connecticut, Connecticut. And in this word, the stress is only on the second syllable. So you really want to emphasize the second syllable and pull back on everything else. Connecticut, Connecticut, Connecticut. Number eight, Delaware. Luckily, this one is spelled pretty much how it's pronounced. It is three syllables and we stress the first syllable. Delaware, 
Delaware, Delaware. Number nine, Florida, Florida, Florida. This is another word that came from Spanish and the American English pronunciation is super different from the Spanish pronunciation. So we say Florida. It is three syllables. We stress the first syllable and the I does not make an E sound, but rather a schwa or a quick I sound. Florida, Florida, Florida. Number 10, Georgia. Georgia. Now this state is not to be confused with the country Georgia, but they are pronounced the same. It is two syllables and we stress the first syllable, Georgia, Georgia. Number 11, Hawaii, Hawaii, Hawaii. This word has a lot of syllables and it might be kind of confusing to know where the syllables start and stop. So this word has three syllables and it is ha, Hawaii, Hawaii. Now there are indigenous people in Hawaii who speak Hawaiian and their pronunciation is a little bit different than how the rest of the US says it, but you will most often hear this pronounced Hawaii, Hawaii, Hawaii. I've been to Hawaii twice and it is amazing. Number 12, Idaho, Idaho, Idaho. This word is spelled pretty similarly to how it's pronounced. It is three syllables and we stress the first syllable. Idaho, Idaho, Idaho. Number 13, Illinois, Illinois, Illinois. Again, just like Arkansas, we have this state with a silent S on the end. From what I've read and seen online, Arkansas and Illinois were given French endings to their names. And in French, the S or the last letter of the word is silent. And so that is why we don't pronounce it. I'm not sure of the entire history of the names of these words, but that's what I've read. So in this word, we say Illinois, Illinois, Illinois. This word is three syllables and we stress the first and the last syllable, Illinois, Illinois, Illinois. Number 14, Indiana, Indiana, Indiana. This one is four syllables and spelled pretty much how it's pronounced. Just note that the first A makes an A ah sound and the second A reduces to a schwa or an A uh sound, Indiana. Indiana, Indiana. Number 15, Iowa, Iowa, Iowa. The first I is an I sound. O reduces to a schwa. And then we have wa, with the A also reducing to a schwa. Iowa, Iowa, Iowa. Number 16, Kansas, Kansas. Notice again how the A's make different vowel sounds. The first A is an A ah sound, and the second A reduces to schwa, Kansas, Kansas. But what's confusing is that we saw Arkansas, which is spelled pretty much the same as Kansas, but pronounced totally differently. We have two syllables, we stress the first one, and we do pronounce the S on the end, Kansas, Kansas. Number 17, Kentucky. Kentucky, Kentucky. Since we stress the second syllable, the vowel in the first syllable gets reduced to a schwa. So we don't really emphasize the e eh in Kentucky. We reduce it more to a schwa. Kun, 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 Kentucky, Kentucky. If it helps, you can even think about completely deleting that first E and just say kun, Kentucky. Number 18, I got requested this one a lot on Instagram. We pronounce this Louisiana, Louisiana, Louisiana. This one's kind of fun to say. There's five syllables and we stress the second and the fourth. Louisiana, Louisiana, Louisiana. Number 19, this one's pretty easy. We just say Maine. Maine, and it has the exact same pronunciation as the word Maine. So maybe you can go to Main Street in Maine. They sound exactly the same. Number 20, Maryland, 
Maryland, Maryland. Now this one's kind of funny because when I was thinking about how I say it, sometimes I use two syllables and sometimes I use three. So just be aware that both exist depending on how fast we're talking. So if you say this word with three syllables, you'll say Maryland, Maryland, Maryland. Since the stress is on the first syllable, both vowels in the second and third syllable reduce to schwa. So it's not Maryland, it's Maryland, Maryland, Maryland. Now, if we are speaking super fast, we might even completely cut out the Y and not even pronounce that syllable. We might just say Maryland, Maryland, Maryland. And it really sounds like there's just two syllables. Number 21, another really frequent request was Massachusetts, Massachusetts. Now, even though this one is kind of difficult to spell, the spelling actually reflects the pronunciation pretty closely. The only small difference between the spelling and the pronunciation is at the end where we see an E. Instead of saying Massachusetts, we don't quite say that, we say sits, like the same as to sit down. If it's easier for you to think of this sound as a schwa, then that works too. This word is four syllables and we stress the first and the third ones. Massachusetts, 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 Massachusetts. Number 22, Michigan, Michigan, Michigan. It is three syllables and we stress the first syllable. The CH actually makes an SH sound or a SH sound. And the A reduces to a schwa. So we don't say Michigan, we say Michigan, Michigan, Michigan. Number 23, Minnesota, Minnesota. This word is four syllables. We stress the first and the third ones. The E reduces to a schwa and the T makes a D or a tap sound. Minnesota, Minnesota, Minnesota. And 24, Mississippi, Mississippi, Mississippi. You don't know how many times I said this word to myself when trying to go over the pronunciation. This one is so funny with all the S's and the P's and the I's, but let me break it down for you. This word has four syllables and we stress the first and the third syllables. The first three I's make the same sound, but the last I makes an E sound, E. So we say Mississippi, 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 Mississippi. That is just a total tongue twister, even for native English speakers. So if you really have trouble with this one, don't feel too bad about it. Number 25, Missouri, Missouri, Missouri. This word is three syllables. We stress the second syllable and the second syllable is probably the hardest part of this word. The two S's actually form to make a voiced consonant sound or a Z sound. If you put your hand here, you can feel your vocal cords vibrating. Zzz, zzz, zzz. Then the O-U-R makes an er sound. Er, not our, but er. Missouri, Missouri. Sounds like misery. Oh my God. Missouri, Missouri. Now make sure you don't stress the first syllable Otherwise, it will sound like misery. And the word misery means to be in a lot of pain. So the stress on this word is really important. Missouri, Missouri. Okay, we are halfway done. And before we move on to the next state, I just want to remind you, if you have found this video helpful or interesting so far, make sure you like it and subscribe to my channel so you can keep improving your English with me. Okay, number 26. Montana, Montana. Again, this word has Spanish origins, but we don't pronounce it with a Spanish pronunciation. This word has three syllables, Montana. The O makes an open ah sound, mon. The second syllable is the one that we stress, and the A in this syllable is pronounced ah, tan. 
Then the last A reduces to schwa. Montana, Montana, Montana. Number 27, Nebraska, Nebraska, Nebraska. This word has three syllables, Nebraska. The E reduces to a schwa, N. We stress the second syllable and the A makes an A ah sound, brass. And then the last syllable is K. The A reduces to a schwa, Nebraska, Nebraska, Nebraska. Number 28, Nevada. Now, depending on where you live in the United States, you may pronounce it one of two ways. Since I am from the West Coast, I say Nevada, Nevada, Nevada. In the second syllable, the A is an A ah sound, like in cat. But I've definitely heard, and even sometimes pronounced it, Nevada, 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 with more of an ah, an open sound, Nevada. So depending on which accent you prefer, you can choose how you say this word. Number 29, New Hampshire, New Hampshire, New Hampshire. And we stress new and hamp. Now the last part of this word looks like it should be pronounced shire, like in Lord of the Rings. But since the first two syllables are stressed, we can't also stress the third one, which means we have to reduce our vowel and pull back a little bit which means that it just sounds like sure, New Hampshire, New Hampshire. Now you'll also notice that I put the P in parentheses, and that is because this sound is kind of optional. When we speak really quickly, sometimes we delete it or it's just really hard to hear. New Hampshire, New Hampshire. So if you feel like it's too difficult to pronounce that P, just delete it, it'll be fine. Number 30, New Jersey, New Jersey. Again, this word has three syllables and we stress the first two, New Jersey, New Jersey. Now, I am not from New Jersey, but people from the East Coast or New Jersey itself might pronounce it a little bit differently with their East Coast accent. So just be aware that you might hear this sound a little bit differently depending on where the speaker is from. But in general American English, you will hear this pronounced New Jersey, New Jersey. Number 31, New Mexico, New Mexico, New Mexico. This word has four syllables and we stress the first two. Now, if you are Spanish speaking or you come from Mexico, that X might be a little tricky for you, but it really just makes a KS sound. New Mexico, New Mexico, New Mexico, New Mexico. Number 32, New York. New York, New York. Now you're probably thinking, Amy Joy, I know this word. New York City is so famous and I use this word all the time. Well, one common mistake I see my students make is pronouncing the Y like a J. They'll say New York, New York, New York. And it is not a J, but rather a Y, a Y, New York, New York. New York City. And for all of these states that begin with the word new, I want to highlight something for you. When we say the word new, we don't say new, new, new. I notice my students struggling so much to try and pronounce that EW with this Y sound, but in order to speak more quickly and easily, we just skip over that and we say new. New Hampshire, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York. So I hope this little tip helps you. Number 33, North Carolina. North Carolina, North Carolina. This word is five syllables and we stress the first, second, and fourth syllables. Since we're stressing all those syllables, we actually have to reduce the other ones. So notice in the third and fifth syllables with the O and the A, both of those sounds reduce to schwa. So we say North Kara, not Caro, Kara, Lina, North Carolina, North Carolina, North Carolina. Number 34, North Dakota, North Dakota, North Dakota. This word is four syllables and we stress the first and the third. 
North Dakota, North Dakota, North Dakota. Also notice that T at the end makes a D or a tap sound, not a voiceless T sound. North Dakota, North Dakota, North Dakota, North Dakota. And number 35, Ohio. It is three syllables and we stress the second one, hi. Ohio, Ohio, Ohio. Number 36, Oklahoma, Oklahoma, Oklahoma. This word is four syllables. We stress the first and the third syllables. Both of the O's make an O sound and both of the A's reduce to schwa because they are in the unstressed syllables. Oklahoma, 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 Oklahoma. Number 37, Oregon, Oregon, Oregon. This one again, I had to think really hard if I use two or three syllables to say this word. I even reached out to some friends and one that even lives in Oregon and we could not come up with an agreement about if we use two or three syllables. So this is a choose your own adventure. <laughs> if you want to say it with three syllables, you are going to really hold that E which actually makes a schwa sound. You're just gonna hold it a little bit longer. Oregon, Oregon, Oregon. Since it's such a neutral sound, it almost sounds like it doesn't even exist, which is why it's kind of tricky to hear if it is a syllable or not. When we speak really quickly, I think sometimes we just go so fast that we kind of miss it and pronounce it just like Oregon like the musical instrument or the organs in your body. Oregon, Oregon, Oregon. Either way is fine and just know that even when I talked with my native English speaking friends, we all were a little bit confused when we thought about it. So you can definitely use both. Number 38, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania. This word is four syllables and we stress the first and the third ones. The first syllable is pen and the second syllable is soul. I know there is a Y there. I'm not sure why there's a Y, but it sounds more like a soul, soul, soul. Then we have V-A-N, which sounds like vein, vein. And then the last syllable is y, y, Pennsylvania. Growing up, when I heard the word Pennsylvania, I actually thought it was a mythical, fictional, or fake place where trees were growing out of pencils. And I imagined this whole like pencil forest simply because the first half of the word sounds exactly like the word pencil. So if that helps you pronounce this word, you can think of a forest filled with pencils and say Pennsylvania. Number 39, Rhode Island, Rhode Island. This word has three syllables and we stress the first two, Rhode Island. Now the first word sounds exactly like the past tense of the word to ride. We say road, road. I'm not sure what that H is doing there. Again, English just loves silent letters but we say road. And then even though this is two words, we definitely have some connected speech going on here. We connect the last sound of road, so that D sound, we connect it to the vowel in island. So we say Rhode Island, Rhode Island, Rhode Island. So if someone is speaking really fast, you might think that they're just saying one word, but it's actually two and they are just linking their sounds. Rhode Island. Number 40, South Carolina, South Carolina. Just like North Carolina, this word is five syllables and we stress the first, second, and fourth syllables. Since we're stressing all those syllables, we actually have to reduce the other ones. So notice in the third and fifth syllables with the O and the A, both of those sounds reduce to schwa. South Carolina, South Carolina, South Carolina, South Carolina. Number 41, South Dakota, South Dakota. Just like North Dakota, we have four syllables and we stress the first and the third ones. South Dakota, 
South Dakota, South Dakota. And again, that T at the end makes more of a D or a tap sound, South Dakota. Number 42, Tennessee, Tennessee, Tennessee. This word has three syllables and we stress the first and the third syllables, which means that the middle syllable gets reduced a little bit and that vowel reduces to a schwa. So we don't say Tennessee, not Tennessee. We say Tennessee, 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 Tennessee. 43, Texas, Texas. This word has two syllables, and since we stress the first syllable, the second syllable will be reduced, so the A becomes a schwa. Not Texas, but Texas, Texas, Texas. Number 44, Utah, Utah, Utah. This word is two syllables, and we stress the first syllable. Now, the U in this word does not make an a uh sound, but a U sound. So we say Utah, Utah, Utah. Number 45, Vermont, Vermont, Vermont. Two syllables and we stress the second one. The first syllable sounds like ver, 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 not ver, but ver, and the second syllable is mont, mont, vermont. And number 46, Virginia, Virginia, Virginia. This word is three syllables and it is kind of difficult because each I makes a different sound. In the first syllable, we have ver, 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 not veer, Ver. The second syllable we have gin, gin, gin. This is the stressed syllable, virgin, virgin, virgin. And then in the last syllable we have this ia, which makes a y sound, y, y. So to put it all together, we say Virginia, Virginia, Virginia. Number 47, Washington, Washington, Washington. This word is three syllables and we stress the first syllable, Washington, Washington. Since we stress the first syllable, the other two kind of pull back. They get reduced a little bit. So notice in the last syllable, we don't say ton or tone. I know there's a feeling that you want to pronounce that O, like an open O or an A, ah, but it's really neutral, it just reduces to a schwa, and we just say tin, 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 Washington. If it helps, you can even keep a little smile at the end and keep your mouth closed. Washington, Washington, Washington. Number 48. West Virginia, West Virginia, West Virginia. This is pronounced exactly the same as Virginia. We've just added the word West to it. So it is four syllables and we stress the first and the third syllables. West Virginia, West Virginia, West Virginia. Number 49, Wisconsin. Wisconsin. This is three syllables and we really stress that second syllable, con. Luckily in this word, both eyes are pronounced the same. Wisconsin, 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 Wisconsin. And last but definitely not least, we have number 50, which got requested so many times on my Instagram and we pronounce this state Wyoming. Wyoming, Wyoming. This word is pretty much spelled how it is pronounced. It just looks kind of confusing with all of the vowels and the Y there. So let's break it down. The W Y make the same sound as in the word Y. The O by itself is the stressed second syllable, O. And then we have Ming, 
Ming. Ming. So putting it all together, we say Wyoming. 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 And there you have it. How to pronounce all 50 states like a native English speaker. Now, in addition to the states, I know that there are a bunch of cities in the US that are also hard to pronounce. So please let me know in the comments which cities in the US you have difficulty pronouncing. I hope to make another video in the future, including all of your requests. So make sure you comment down below and let me know which cities in the US are difficult for you to pronounce. Also, make sure you go follow me on Instagram. I've been posting a lot of fun questions, polls, quizzes, and pronunciation videos that you might enjoy, and I'd love to see you over there. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something new. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel so you can keep improving your English with me. Bye.